But before we get into that, don't forget to subscribe. And also, don't forget to like the video if you think this thing I'm about to show you is cute. Look at that. <laughs> oh, man, my sister's awesome. All right, back to the... Let's get serious. All right, the Mighty Bowser. Introducing... From the darkest corner of the Lego Super Mario universe, the Mighty Ooh, Bowser. I like the I like the vibe. I like hey, the vibe. I'm Carl. Oh, no. look at that! Look at that! Look at he's got the goatee. He's got the mustache. Whatever. Lego Super Mario. For this model. I mean, look at this guy. This guy right here. Th his outfit is built for confidence. This guy is... I mean, he's going for the punk or whatever. We wanted to create the ultimate Bowser build. And ultimate it is. And that means we had to make it big. Because the bigger you build something out of Lego bricks, the more details you can put in. Ooh. Besides capturing all of his iconic details, we also wanted to make him come alive. And what we did was add a couple buttons on the side where you can push to move his head back and forth. You can pull the trigger to open and close his mouth. And if you pull the trigger all the way, he'll actually shoot out his fireball. Oh! We took some inspiration from a few different forms of puppetry and added loose joints to the legs and tail. So when you pick him up, he actually looks like he's jumping. Wow. Most of the Lego bricks used to make the Mighty Bowser are actually not designed to make characters. Hmm. There's only a few besides the teeth, the fingers, the horn, and the edge of the shell, and our new 3x3x3O drive. Most of the other what bricks were made for cars and spaceships and vehicles and airplanes. Wow. All different types of machines, not characters. Interesting. My favorite part of this model has to be the shell. It was one of the first things we built and I love how it captures the curved shell. Oh, edge that is so lifelike. The hard facets and details of the shell itself, and just capping it off with our new 3x3x3O drive. It looks super fun, and it is super fun to build. The last thing it's we nice. needed was a digital interaction with our Lego Mario. No way. And that's where Didier came in. Hi, I'm Didier, Senior Interactive Play Designer on LEGO Super Mario, and I bring LEGO Mario figure to life through sound and animation. I joined this project when the physical model was nearly finished, and it looked amazing. We wanted the digital experience to match that epic level. So we designed this new way of playing with the color, where you stomp the model itself to defeat Bowser. Wow! No way! It worked! If you like Lego bricks, you're gonna like this set. If you like Bowser, let's you're gonna go! Like this set. If you like O jives, you're gonna love this set. I've never if you like heard stomping of it. on Bowser, you're gonna love this set. I love that if set. If you like man. tubes, you're probably gonna like this set. Um, tubes? Um, what are you doing? Maybe. When do we stop? You don't, you don't <laughs> stop. You're not supposed to stop. <laughs> We cannot wait for fans to get their hands on the mighty Bowser. We did it. Yes, you did. <laughs> wow, this is very exciting. I'll be interested in this. It costs, like, so much money, I think, but... Thanks for watching.